Hello everyone and welcome back to our first lesson before after the Easter break. Okay, I hope you have all had a wonderful Easter and that you are staying safe at the same time as well. So we are carrying on with our time unit. We have two more lessons on our time unit, okay? So this lesson is all about finding start and end times, okay? So it links back to our work on duration, so the length of an event, and this uh, this lesson is going to help us find the start and the end times of um, events. Okay, so we've gone to a fairground today. Me and my friend went to a fairground. Okay, and um, the queue time for this ride is six minutes. Okay, and Bob joins the queue at this time. What time does he get on the ride? A bit of a spelling mistake. Yeah, what time does he get on the ride? Mm -hmm. So the first one we're going to figure out is what time Bob joined the queue. Okay, Bob join the queue. Okay, so this small hand is pointing past the two o'clock, but not past the three o'clock. So we know that it is sometime past two. And then the minutes hand is over here, and we're just going to count up just like we used to. So remember, this twelve would be zero, so it'd be zero. And then we go up in fives, so it'd be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. And then we're going to count up the small minutes, forty-six, forty-seven. So he joined the queue at 2.47, okay? And then the queue time for this ride is six minutes. So now we need to add on six. So he started queuing at 2.47, and we need to add on six minutes. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And so this would be 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Okay, and so he joined, he uh, got on the ride at 2.53. Okay, and we can test that by saying if we do 47, if we do 47 plus 6, then we know that 7 ones add 6 ones are 13 ones. And we can exchange 10 of our ones for 1 10. And then we have 4 tens plus 1 10 equals 5 tens. And so 53, just proving that. Bob joins the queue at 2.53. Okay, good. Right, so, next question. I'd like you to pause the video here and have a go at the question, please. Have a go at the question. Right, so I hope you had a go at the question, and we're going to have a look at it now. So, Angela wants to get on this ride at 5 past 4. What time does she need to join the queue? Now, this question is a bit different because she wants to get on the ride at five past four. So this is time the event will finish, okay? So if I find my five past four, so I know that my big hand is going to be pointing at the one because that shows the five past. And then my small hand is going to be pointing just past the four, okay? So this is the time five past four. Now, it's what time does she need to join the queue if... So the queue takes 30 minutes, okay, and she wants to get on this ride at this time, okay. So we need to find out what is half an hour before this time, okay. So we need to find out what is half an hour before this time. So half an hour, as we know, 30 minutes, okay. So we're just going to count backwards 30 minutes from 5 past 4. So if we count back, we know that our 5 should be pointing at the 1 here. So it will be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So our big hand would be pointing at the 7 here, the 7 here, which we know, if we count up, if we count it up, it is be 35 past, okay, because that is half an hour difference from 5 past, but it's not going to be past 4, okay, so she wants to, she wants to get on the ride at 4.05, okay, now we want half an hour before this time, okay, which means it's going to be before 4 o'clock, and the time before 4 o'clock, is three o'clock okay so she is going to join the queue at 3 35 okay because if she joined the ride at 3 35 if she waits half an hour so 30 minutes so 5 10 15 20 25 30 she would join the ride at 405 which is the time she wanted to okay so she had to join the queue at 3 35 okay so Final question. It is four thirty. I don't think it is the final question actually. No, it's not the final question. Ignore me. Okay, it is four thirty-six p.m. and Luke has to wait to go on the dodgems for fourteen minutes. Okay, it takes fourteen minutes to get on the ride. What time does he get on the ride? So 
pause the video and have a go. Okay, so we know that Luke joins the queue at 4.36 p.m. Which I'm going to put here, and we need to add on 14 minutes to find out what time he gets to the ride. So I've got 4.36 here, and I need to add on 14. So I'm going to start off by adding 10, which will take me to 4. 46 and then I've got I've added on 10 so I need to add on four more minutes I add on four and that takes us to 450 okay so if Luke joins the queue at 436 p.m. and he waits 14 minutes he gets on the ride at 450 p.m. okay and now it is the final question okay so this one's a bit trickier, so I'd like to spend a bit more time on this one. Pause the video and have a go at this question, please. Okay, the time is 10.09 a.m. Arthur has been waiting to go on the ride for 25 minutes. What time did Arthur join the queue? Okay, so this one's a bit different. So I'm going to set this time as 10.10. Okay, and each interval is going to be 10 minutes. Okay, so this is 10.10. This one is going to be 10 o'clock. This one's going to be 9.50. We've got 9.40 here. 9.30 and so on. Okay. So, the time is 10.09. So the time is 10.09, which is here. Okay. And Arthur's been waiting to go on the ride for 25 minutes. Okay. So he's already been on the ride. He's already been in the queue for 25 minutes so we need to count backwards 25 minutes okay so I'm going to start off and I'm going to count back so I've got 10.09 here and I'm just going to count back nine minutes first just to quickly just so I can get to a nice round number okay of 10 o'clock so I've got 25 and I've already used nine minutes so 25 take away nine okay so five take away nine we can't do and so I need to exchange one of my 10s for 10 ones. So I've got 15 take away 9, which is 6. And then 1 take away 0, and that is 0. Okay. So we still have 16 minutes left. So I'm going to go 10 o'clock. I'm going to go back 10 minutes to 9.50. And so 16 take away 10. We've still got 6 minutes left. I'm going to go back 6. So I'm going to take away 6 again. And so, therefore, 9.50 take away 6. Count back 6 minutes would be 9.49, 9.48, 9.47, 9.46, 9.45, and eventually we would get to here, which would be 9.44. Okay, and that is the time that Arthur joins the queue. Okay, so I hope this was useful, and have a go at the questions in your Power Maths books. Okay, so I hope you do well. Okay, bye guys.